Hello everybody, Ben here, and today we're at Crew Heritage Centre, in of course, Crew. Here outside, they have a lot, I think the most, in any one place at least anyway, APT passenger cars, well, and the power cars as well. First mainline train of the day was this Transport for Wales service going into Crew Station. I'm not entirely sure on the class of this DMU, but... It looks a bit interesting, a bit strange almost, a bit different to what I'm used to. <laughs> Next we have a London North Western Railway Desiro unit. I think it's maybe like a 350, I'm not entirely sure, but there's two of these, one in a sort of blue and well grey and teal livery like this one here and there's one in a sort of older livery which I think was southwestern or something like that I'm assuming they bought it and repainted it at some point I didn't even know London Northwestern was a was a railway to be honest at one point well not railway um tier train operating company there's this one here with a W as well but they also have one in very in sort of southwestern colours as well then we also have an, a, a, not an Azuma, I'm used to saying that, um, we have a Pendolino. Different to the Azumas I see on the East Coast mainland, because we're, we're on the West Coast this time. This is going into Crew Station, and these are really long, I think they're about 11 cars long, which is very, very, very long, compared to about the five car Azumas that we see. <laughs> See another Transport for Wales DMU, this time leaving crew. I'm not sure if it's the same one, it could be, but this is the free free car DMU. And I still the unknown class, I'm not entirely sure what it is. Because there's so many different lines and trains in crew, there's also this Pendolino on one of the other lines here as well. I believe these are the exact same London North Western units that we saw earlier, but now these are leaving Crew Station, going to wherever they go to, I'm not entirely sure where. But they're leaving now, going, I don't know, down the line, I'm not entirely sure if it's east or north, or west, I don't know, the directions to be honest, I don't know which way we're facing. <laughs> Another Transport for Wales DMU here, this one going on the line which curves off, it possibly may be a uh, line to Manchester but I might be wrong there. Another Pendolino this time, also in a Vahanty West Coast livery, I believe most of them are now. This is leaving Crew Station as well. is named City of Stoke upon Trent, that's what the nameplate says. You should pause it if you don't believe me. Then we got another 
Transport for Wales DMU. This time it's one of their new Class 197s. And this is actually named Happy Valley. It's got a little nameplate on the top of the power cars. Which I'd never noticed before. And then, once again, another of anti-West Coast pens. There's a lot of trains here, as you can tell. I bet I haven't even managed to get over to the other side where it's the main West Coast main line. I'm still I'm still stood on the side where the, where I'd usually see the Transport for Wales train. This one also has a nameplate because it's far off in the distance, though. I don't know what it says. We've got a uh, Nulla Pendolino leaving crew station. I'm not sure if this is stopped in there and it's going on an avoiding line. Or it has just avoided the station altogether going on a through line. I'm not entirely sure. But we've got away from the... Uh, I guess driver. Is also named, and it's named Cumbrian Spirit. We have another London North Western service here as well. So I'm coming into Crew Station again. However, I believe this is a different pair of units to what we've seen earlier. Because this one has a British transport police sort of advert about calling them if you see anything wrong. On one of the power cars, I believe. the distance then there appeared a class 66 with a train uh, but at this distance you can't tell what it is however here you can and it's a network rail sort of maintenance train with a lot of stuff <laughs> even a 66 on the other end showing how long it was it was a very big train and now we're in a HST power car this is the cab and then this one's already back this is barely any time later I don't know why it did that it went up the line and then maybe they're turning it I'm not entirely sure but it is a different engine and I'm going to speed it up because you've already seen the train but I still find it impressive how big of a train this was. I'm assuming it's two put together, given there's top and tailing of two 66s. One much more faded than the other. As you can see, what the back one is, or we'll see, the back one's much more weathered. It's slowing down there.
This is the parcel space inside a HST power car. Various adverts and a seat and a desk. And another small sort of almost stool thing there. And now I'm sat in it. There's crew station over there. You've got an Angular Railways 86. And even that little Hunslet Shunter. And in the sig one of the signal boxes they've got here. They've got three. We've got one of the new Transport for Wales Class 197 DMUs. Possibly it might be the Happy Valley unit that we saw earlier. Returning from crew station going back down the line. But I'm not entirely sure. One of my favourites, A Class 91. And we've also got A03 and A37 here. Another Transport for Wales DMU here. I believe this is a Class 158 DMU. But I'm not entirely sure. A Mark 1 modified to hold re-railing equipment. And we also have two HST power cars. One in East Midlands Trains livery, where it's debranded now, and then one in BR Blue, and we've got another Transport for Wales DMU. And now we've got a Virgin Class 87. I really like how this looks. It's named Robert Burns. I, I like how the Virgin Trains livery is. I like these electric locos. They sort of, I've not really liked them recent until recently, but now I think they look really nice. I kind of want one, even though I don't have any overhead wires. And it's surprisingly large. But also not too big. It's, I don't know, I'm a bit confused by that. Once again, another Class 390 Pendolino. Leaving Crew Station. And then we also have another Transports for Wales DMU. I believe this is also a Class 197, though this isn't Happy Valley, I believe, because it doesn't have the little painted on nameplates. Then we've got another Pendolino here. You can even see there was one in the station as well. And this one's leaving, going on the line, which I believe is to Manchester, but again, I'm not entirely sure. showing how busy crew is there's even a voy an Avanti Voyager going on one of the lines and once again there's a Pendolino at the station and even there's an, a North Western service over there so that's that Pendolino gone over there and then the cross country well not cross country anymore but it used to be cross country but now Avanti Voyager I really like how these actually look in the vo in the Avanti livery the Voyagers look very nice in that livery and then we've got the service that was waiting for all these trains to leave because there's so many. This is once again in a low class 319 Pendolino in Vanti West Coast livery going into Crew Station. Pendolino is also named, it's called Chad Varaya. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's what it says on the nameplate. <laughs> Got a Northern Electric DMU, well no, EMU, because it's an, it's an electric unit, but that's going into Crew Station from the lines that I believe go to Manchester. Another Avanti West Coast liveried Voyager coming into Crew Station on the line that usually sees the Transport for Wales DMUs. I really like how the Avanti West Coast 
livery looks on these riders. I know I've said that before, but I think it looks better than the cross country livery. We've got, once again, another Class 390 Pendolino in Avanti West Coast livery, leaving Crew Station. This one is named Unknown Soldier. I like how all of the, or a lot of them at least anyway, are named. It's not so much how we don't have that on the East Coast main line. We used to with the HSTs and the Class 91s, but not anymore. So I wish LNER would change that. This possibly might be the same Northern Electric EMU, but I'm not sure. This pulled into the sidings here and didn't move for the entire time that we were there. Two DMUs here. We've got one Class 158, possibly. Two car DMU leaving Crew Station. And we've got one of the new... Class 197s also transport for Wales coming into Crew Station. We've got another Class 390 Pendolino leaving Crew Station. That's passing the Northern EMU sat in the sidings next to Crew Station. This one is also named, but I'm not entirely sure what it is because I can't read the nameplate due to how far away it is. <laughs> Leaving crew, there is this viaduct, not entirely sure what it's called or where it is to be honest there's no trains on it but i still think it looks pretty cool you know it's no no further than fountains well time wise thank you for watching this video by me please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below with some video ideas or feedback thank you for watching goodbye